this is a class I taught, and uh, it's one of the first classes I taught in the States. I'm going to be jumping it down from an hour long class to 20 minutes, so we're going to be cutting down the practice in between. What? Thank you for the long class. Because I don't want to take too much of uh, our time, and I think we will be in 20 minute classes when I teach. So we're going to do our best to break it down in 20 minutes. Uh, that means we won't get to practice what I'm talking about in the class, but I will demonstrate. So then you can practice afterwards during the class game, fighting afterwards, all right? Okay. So the big reason I started this class was because we have all these classes, great classes of people talking about what to do with your feet in footwork. Who, do you guys all kind of remember the footwork classes you did? No, no, you don't. I'm not going to go through too much of it. But there is a bunch of drills and stuff to do with your feet that have been taught by Ramis here, beginner, and also Heaven here for beginners. Now, the big thing is you can get into beginner, intermediate, expert go work on how to do stuff, but until you actually put it in your mind to actually move while you're fighting, you can't implement that footwork. You can know everything about it, but unless you actually think about moving, you won't do it. You'll be stuck there just like Street Fighter, fighting. Right? We all, you know, a lot of us grew up playing Street Fighter, so I guess some of us, I, some of us didn't. <laughs> some of us know that reference. Um, so, the big thing about it, is that if you want to get better at fighting in general, you need to think about your footwork. The first thing to do, to concentrate on your footwork, is when you're actually fighting, it's to ignore the idea that you need to win this fight. It is not important for you to win the fight. It is way more important for you to learn and expand your skills. Keep the winning of the fighting for tournaments. All right, that's what it's most important. While you're training, think about what you need to train. So in other words, not important if you die. That should probably be better if you die because you might learn more. Okay. The second most important thing is that it can't end here at anchor. When you want to implement more footwork, you need to think about it all the time. For example, I'm at home and I know that I want to be better at improving my footwork and anchor. I realize, okay, well, what muscles do I need to do work? What, what can I do at home that will help me improve my movement? So while I'm taking a shower, I will do calf raises. Make sense? Those are my calf raises. Anyway. Um, if I'm, say, walking my dog and I'm thinking, I still need to improve, here I am walking my dog and going to see me, maybe I'll start to shuffle a little bit. Right, because we learned to shuffle, I think, at some point in one of the classes. I will maybe walk on the balls of my feet. Because a lot of fighting has, should be done on the balls of your feet. Why? Because it's faster to move from the balls of your feet than it is from a flat foot. So you should be on the balls of your feet more often than not. Make sense? Okay. So you have that in your mind. You have to keep doing it not only in anchor, you want to do it at home. That's how you improve. Just think about it. Even just thinking, even if you don't do any action, will help you at anchor because it becomes a memory. It becomes a train of thought that you get used to it. So couple basic things about footwork that we're going to go through because some people haven't taken a footwork class is that in general, again these are rules for, for beginners and immediates, don't cross your feet when you're moving. Make sense? Anyone want to tell me why? Balance, yes. Balance. Yes. Exactly. So no crossing your feet. If you want to get closer to someone you want to move, Keep your best balance, you want to shuffle. Right? Your best way to shuffle is to shuffle your back foot first to get the movement out. Even though 
exactly what I did looks the same if I do this. The difference is, in that situation, I stepped first, and then I went. What you want to do is shuffle, shuffle. That's the best way to do it, to keep your balance. Of course, rules are meant to be broken at some point, but I'm telling you the basics that you should practice to get it into your repertoire. Now, what you want to be doing when you're practicing fighting, if you want to get, if you find that you're just the kind of person that just sits there, maybe goes back and forth and you just don't know where to start while you're fighting, you're going to do this drill. And of course, it's a drill that you can do with a partner or without. So I uh, said you can come with me if you want to. I can do someone else. <coughs> I'm the one working on footwork. He's going to be the defender, and he's just going to follow. So, footwork is a lot like a dance, right? You're going to have a leader and a follow, whatever you want to call it. I don't know the dancing terms. Sometimes everyone wants to try <laughs> Yeah, awesome. Yeah. So, if I'm going to be the leader in this situation, he's just going to follow where I go. Now, this is a drill where both people are expected. So, in this situation, he's going to look for an opening on me and just strike when he is. Okay, so I'm going to make sure I keep my defense up, my balance up. I'm not going to do this because if I do this, it's going to slow me. Alright? Now what you want to start off at, let's move a little bit further away from people here. What you want to start off at, if you're not sure what to do at all, is just start walking. Everything about footwork is ingrained for you from when you started young walking. So, first, you just got to get used to the fact that angles change. If, I, if I'm the dancer here, or the, the leader, I'm just going to start walking. I keep my defense up, and I can just walk. All right, I keep my defense up. doesn't matter right now. It's a little bit of a crossing key. It doesn't matter because we're not doing this properly. We're just training ourselves to do this. All right, so if he sees an opening, and for some reason I feel bad, then he'll hit me. But if I'm looking while I'm walking, and all of a sudden, he, like, if I see an angle, I'm just going to take that angle. It doesn't matter right now, all my concentration is to keep my defense up and to keep myself moving. Now, in general, if you're a righty, sort of, or a writer, you want to move to the right, but you want to be able to get used to moving to the left. Alright, so you might just, because you're, because you're the leader, you might just want to go back and forth and just get used to seeing what changes up. Because as soon as you start moving left, there's going to be some openings over here that are way more obvious. So you got to make sure that you keep that defense up. So you just want to keep walking. You want to keep moving. All right? Now, this drill works well when you have someone that's like this. But it also works well when someone is just fighting. So, Seth and I just a regular fight, and I want to start practicing this same thing. I'm going to do the same thing. If he's just in a regular fight, he's going to try to do baits and baits and stuff. Right? Right? So i got to make sure I keep my defense up. But my main concentration right now is strictly just to keep walking around. Right? So he's going to try to help me. Just like a regular fight. Not just openings. You, you do whatever you need to do. There you go. So I'm just going to keep moving around because he won't try following it. Right now, there's, he's not part of the drill. Only me. This is me concentrating and getting my mind moving. Once you, once you understand that everything needs to keep moving, you, your brain starts to realize that when you're attacking and everything, everything moves. That's what it's going for. <laughs> All right. Okay. Does anyone have questions about that? You know what? We do that for like half an hour. Probably get busy. All right. But uh, um, this is how. To, you really get to thinking about your footwork. Don't worry about the shuffling like I told you right away. Unless you're ready for that. If you think that you can keep moving and keep shuffling, then you're going to want to do that. Like if I'm, all right? For me, this is how I'm doing that. I'm not ready for this. All right, so I'm just going to keep shuffling around. And that's just me working on this footwork while it's still moving. Again. The whole concentration is to get yourself moving while you're fighting. Now, yeah, a lot of people won't see the benefit of this right away. Um, but let's say I were to take a shot, like uh, Seth and I would fight, and like there's. A, so did you have a question? How much did I get to see your 
Did you have a pelt that's even better because you can move around your pelt? So are you going to know how to move around your pelt? Yeah. I don't know. You have a hamster. I didn't say. You can do it with a pelt. You can do it with a pelt. Or like a punching bag or something. Um, specifically that drill. But like I said, at home, you don't need to do this same drill because you keep that for your career. You can get someone else. What you can do is think about what you can do you with your feet that will benefit you as a fighter in the game. Like I said, if you feel like, hey, you know what, I need to get up and start to go watching the show for 45 minutes, whatever, I need to go grab a drink of water. But hey, you know what, I want to improve my foot. So why don't I just uh, walk on the balls of my feet all the way there? Or why don't I do lunges all the way there, right? Anything that gets your mind thinking about footwork at home, it doesn't have to be exactly anti related as long as you are thinking about it and how you can improve your own balance and everything like that will get you better in the game too. Okay. Um, so now I've gone through that. I don't know how long it's been. Uh, I suspect it's been about 10 to 15 minutes. 10 minutes. Um, oh yeah, this is what I was getting on. So for those that don't see, don't see really the benefit of fluidity, which is what basically what this is. When you get to moving all the time, you get to be a more fluid fighter. All right. So when you're a fluid fighter, you're able to move and strike to different people or strike different locations. So if I were to go on set and say he doesn't move very much, we'll just, we'll just say he's a, a very stationary fighter. All right. So. Uh, <laughs> For fluidity, I might be moving this way, I might swing here. Sorry about that. Um, oh, you might work. Oh, did, okay. Um, I saw your video, so that's the same idea. But yeah, that's, that's kind of the way you see on a one on one fight. Now, if you guys have ever watched me fight multiple people or anything like that, and you want to really keep your feet moving, is when you're fighting a lot of people. So we're going to bring Daniel up. So if you guys are kind of surrounding me, start surrounding me, but you don't know what's going on. Start surrounding me, but you don't know what's going on. Yeah, I'm Right? So if you were to start surrounding me, just do it really slowly. And if I just stand here, I'm going to get surrounded. So now that I do, I'm going to get surrounded. So I have to move, right? Right? So right now I got it, because I didn't move right off the bat. I'm stuck. Now we're going to do the same thing. And if I start moving right away and I know it's three people, you guys are going to do the same thing. And you move. Right? And I can move. Right? And you move, 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 move. All I'm doing is doing the same circle. I'm doing the same circle. Right? <laughs> Food and fighting happens more than just one on one. It happens with some people that you can get out of So, when you're in a battle game, everything. Work happens in everything, not just fighting, it happens in every kind of sport you can do. So, always think about your feet, everything, everything. Um, and now, okay. So, now, when you do do exercises, now let's say you started thinking about it at home and you want to really start getting into it, you want to start working on muscles, or you want to really try to get better at it at Anchor right here. The big way, and this is what most people don't do when they're training, is that you need to get out of your comfort zone. Everything you do, you have to aim to fail, but try your best. Does that make sense to people? Aim to fail while still trying your best. All right, so let's say I have a pretty crazy movement here, and I tried to do this a couple times because I saw Dale was freaking do it. He does this, he did this crazy move, and I'm just going to try to replicate it on him, not even swinging at me for some reason. I probably still won't be able to. I have to ask him about it, though. I'm also still a bit sick. 
Um, if you guys see this video, it actually looks amazing. It will. Alright, so you literally just like. And then turn it right back for a spin. And it all has to do with the feet and how we did it. And it's actually in a real fight. My guy was actually just dumbfounded and happy to die. <laughs> I try to do that sometimes in a way that I can't do it, but knowing that I will try my best to do it and fail, right? So that's how you improve yourself, is to make sure that you push yourself to the point where you're gonna fail. If you guys don't actually know this, it's very, very ingrained in any kind of workouts we do. If you go to build muscle at the gym, you're going to your plan is to lift, well, if you're actually trying to muscle build, you're going to lift until you're, you literally fail, until you can't lift anymore. That's when your muscles change, right? They, they adapt. They become strong enough to do so. So, it's the same thing in the footwork. So if you're not sure, you're like, oh man, I just saw a spin, but I don't know how. So you just understand how he does it, and who cares? Just try it. I saw a little line, and they tried to spin. And it actually turned out really good. I mean, he didn't get me with it, but it doesn't matter because he, when I was coming out, he didn't do it. I mean, he did it, but he kind of failed, but okay, because he tried his best to do it, and it actually turned out pretty good. Right? So you always have to push yourself to do anything. So if you're not sure about doing like a double step or a shuffle step, even at the beginner level, just do it. If you fail, who cares? Right? Just think about how you're going to do it better next time. Okay? Um, I don't want to push us too long because I know we got a couple class games to do. So, uh, I didn't do any drills. I'm sorry guys, but I'm trying to combine this all into 20 minutes. I think I covered all my info that I did the other in the class. If you guys want the full class, which I'll have some different information, it's online. I can link it to you. Um, there'll be a little bit different stuff than when I first saw it. I wrote stuff down. Um, any questions? Questions? No? Okay, let's get across the board. <laughs> <laughs>